All right, so folks, inside the Phoenix Suns practice facility, Raptors on the main court here at U.S. Airways Center getting ready for tonight's game with the Phoenix Suns. And, boy, last night, what an outstanding game. Maybe the best game of the year, regular season game of the year between the Suns and the Lakers, a triple overtime game, the, the chess match, the back and forth, some unbelievable plays made. One that comes to mind, Eric, was Steve, Nash, Steve Nash's pass that led to Gortat's penetration and a kick out for a game tying three ball. He was double teamed on the sideline and literally falling out of bounds. That's the kind of game it was last night. And made the pass with his left hand while falling and curling it around those two players and it was still on the money. Uh, I talked to Jay Torano about that pass specifically yeah. and he just shook his head. Unbelievable, unbelievable. And actually you'll hear that, uh, that comment to that question uh, in the pregame show tonight in the one-on-one -on -one I did with Jay, but that, that was Great ridiculous. presence of mind. Just ridiculous. Great presence of mind. It's, it's like guys know where people should be and they feel stuff and they just, you know, have that ability to make a play. We'll see what kind of plays the Suns can make tonight, though. A triple overtime game. They are coming back. They have a losing record on the second night of backs, back to backs. Uh, but the one thing they have going for them is they have not lost to the Toronto Raptors since they re signed Steve Nash in the 04 05 season. As a matter of fact, you got to go back to 2001, the last time the Raptors beat a team that had Steve Nash in their lineup, and that was when he was back in Dallas. It's funny, this is the return of uh, Leandro Barbosa, obviously, to Phoenix tonight as well for the first time ever in a Raptor uniform, coming back to the place that he played for so many years. And uh, uh, I jokingly said to, to Leandro, said, you know, the reaction that you're going to get in Phoenix, I'm, I'm guessing, is going to be positive. It's not going to be like Vince when he comes back to Toronto. You're not going to get the booze like Vince. And he, he kind of laughed about that. And he admitted, and Jonesy had a chance to chat with him one-on-one. -on -one. You'll hear that as well on the pregame show tonight. Uh, he admitted that he's not he's, a superstar. Well, not only that he's not yeah, a superstar, but he's very emotional. He said yeah. he, was, he was almost in tears when he walked into the, uh, to the arena this morning and saw a lot of the, the people that he worked with for so many years. Yeah. And, and not just former teammates, and team staff, but you know whether it be security guys or locker room attendants and ball boys and, and guys that just work in the hallways and stuff. He said he was, it was a very emotional experience for him. Well, he did say that you know uh, he, if he gets two or three claps, he'll be happy. And he, he did say about emotional how emotional it would be being on the court and getting back into the game. But uh, it'd be nice for the Raptors to get one. They had the day off yesterday. Some guys did get a little bit of work in, but uh, you know this is to their advantage tonight. Hopefully they can get Phoenix going and get them in a pace of game that's comfortable for Toronto. And that's the one thing. I talked to Alex English about this too, something else you will hear. The way the Suns play, they don't, they're not that breakneck seven seconds or less type of team, but they do play at a quick pace. They do have the experience. They do move the ball. And they still get you going and playing their way. Look at that game last night. Even though it was triple overtime, 139-137, that was an up-and-down game or a quick pace game, and that's what the Phoenix Suns want to do. Well, Triano uh, also said that uh, in terms of the health of the Raptors, it looks like everybody's uh, good to go tonight. Amir Johnson should return. He's on the floor this morning uh, for, for shoot-around. Reggie Evans should be okay as well, but uh, I, I think officially just to kind of uh, be safe, Amir Johnson, a game-time decision tonight, but uh, uh, I think he should be good to go. And Jonesy, uh, unfortunately, and, and don't get us wrong, nobody's talking playoffs here by any means. We haven't mentioned that P word in a long time, but if the Raptors lose tonight, or if the Indiana win. Pacers yeah. win, then it's officially over for the Raptors. They will officially be eliminated uh, from the postseason picture. So uh, 20 and 50 heading into action tonight. We'll see what happens. Uh, as a lot of guys have said, it's time for a win over Phoenix. Tune in tonight, see what happens.